Dear students, the next problem under the topic Jacobian is if u is equal to x, y, z, v equal to x, y plus y, z plus z, x and z is equal to x plus y plus z, find the Jacobian of u, v, w with respect to x, y and z. Now we shall see the solution of this problem. By the formula of the Jacobian, we have the Jacobian of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z is equal to the determinant of the partial differentiation of u with respect to x, the partial differentiation of u with respect to y and the partial differentiation of u with respect to z occupies the first row. In the second row, the partial differentiation of x with respect to x and then with respect to y and then with respect to z. And in the third row, we have the partial differentiation of w with respect to x, then with respect to y and then with respect to z. So this gives the value of the Jacobian. Now we shall find each term separately and then substitute over here. So first we have u is equal to x, y, z. Now first we shall find the differentiation of u with respect to x. So dou u by dou x will be equal to. Now when u is differentiation with, differentiated with respect to x, y and z will be treated as constant. So we have to differentiate only x. So y and z will be treated as constant which is in multiplication with x and so they will come as such and the differentiation of x with respect to x is 1. So it will be 1 multiplied with y is z and then we shall different this will be equal to y is z and next we shall differentiate u with respect to y. So dou u by dou y will be equal to similarly now x and z will become constant and the differentiation of y with respect to y is 1. So it will be x z and then finally we shall differentiate u with respect to z. So dou u by dou z will be equal to now x and y will become constant and the differentiation of z is 1. So it will be x y. So we have got the first three terms of the first row. So here it will be yz and then xz and xy. Similarly we will find the other terms. So now we shall find the other terms. So next we have v to be equal to xy plus yz plus zx. Now the partial differentiation of v first with respect to x. So that is equal to now x has to be differentiated partially. So y and z will be treated as constant. So when x is differentiated partially, the differentiation of x is 1. So 1 multiplied with y will come as it. So y plus now in this term we don't have x itself. So it will be only constant and so the differentiation of this will be 0 plus now here we have x in multiplication with z so z will be treated as constant now because this is in multiplication it will come as such so z into x it will be so z into uh, 1 so it will be z only so that will be equal to y plus z and then we have dv by okay dy so now we shall differentiate this with respect to y partially. So now when we differentiate with respect to y, x will be treated as constant. So x into 1, so it will be x plus. Now here we have y and z will be treated as constant. So the differentiation of y is 1 and uh, z into 1 will be z. And then plus here we don't have y. So the whole term is a constant and when we differentiate the constant it will be 0 and so this will be equal to x plus z and then the partial differentiation of v with respect to z will be equal to now if you see in the first term we don't have a z and so its differentiation will be 0 and now here z into y so differentiation of z is 1 so 1 into y is y plus now z into x now differentiation of z is 1 so 1 into x will be x only so that's equal to y plus x so these are the three terms of the second row 
next for the third row we should take z which is equal to what is uh, z is given as it is equal to x plus y plus z so let us write that here so x plus y plus z now differentiation of um, i mean now uh, this is u uh, u v w this is not u this is w by mistake I have written z so w equal to x plus y plus z so differentiation of w with respect to x first so that will be equal to now the differentiation of x is 1 so 1 plus and y is a constant and so it will be 0 and z, z has to be treated as constant so that also will be equal to 0 and therefore the differentiation of w with respect to x is 1. Similarly the differentiation of w with respect to y will also be equal to 1 only because x and y z when differentiated uh, they are treated as constants so they will become 0 and the differentiation of y is 1. Similarly, the differentiation of w with respect to z will also be equal to 1 because the differentiation of x will become 0, y will become 0 and the differentiation of z is 1 and so we have 1 here. And these are the three terms of the third row. So now we shall substitute all these terms that we have obtained in this determinant and we shall simplify it. Simplify it. So now after substituting all these values in the determinant, we have obtained this. Now we shall simplify this determinant. So what it will be? So this will be equal to first is y is z. So y is z multiplied with the determinant of this. So what how we have to find it? Now this has to be multiplied with 1. So that will give us x plus z minus of now this has to be multiplied with y plus uh, uh, x. So 1 into this is y plus x only. Now the first term is over. Next we have to move on to the second term. For, so for the second term we have to write negative sign. So negative x is it multiplied with. So we have to block this column and this row. And this and this has to be multiplied. So it will be y plus z into 1. So y plus z. So after this and this minus 1 multiplied with y plus x. So it will be y plus x. So the second term is over. Now next the third term. So plus xy multiplied with. Now we have to block this column and this row. And so we will get this has to be multiplied with this. So y plus z into 1 is y plus z minus of 1 has to be multiplied with x plus z. So x plus z this is what we obtain now we shall simplify this further so that is equal to y is z multiplied with x plus z now this negative sign can be taken within so it will become minus y minus x and then minus x z multiplied with now this term y plus z minus y and then minus x and then we have plus x y multiplied with y plus z minus x and then minus z so this is what we obtain now in this this plus 6 and minus x can be cancelled and then plus y and minus y can be cancelled and here uh, we can cancel plus z and minus z so then we have Simplifying this further, this will be equal to, now we can multiply this y is z inside the terms. So first y is z will be multiplied with z. So it will be y z squared. And then y is z multiplied with y. So minus y squared z. And then similarly here, x is z will be multiplied with z. And you have a negative sign here. So minus x z into z is z is it squared and then this has to be multiplied with minus x so minus into minus will become plus and then x into x is x square so we will have x square is it and then this term has to be multiplied with x so plus x y square and then this has to be multiplied with minus x so it will be minus x squared y so now we shall simplify this so if we check in this term and in this term x squared is common so we can take that out and within we will have z minus y so z minus y and then in this term 
okay so in this term and in this term y squared is common what we will do we will take this plus y out so it will be plus y squared so x minus z so it will be x minus z and then in the last term now here it is z square and here also z square is common so we will take it out so it will be plus z squared multiplied with y minus x so this will be the answer hope you have understood this problem uh, so this is the final answer so this is the jacobian of uvw with respect to xyz thank you